feel at home. All the guest ministers, all the uh, awardees, all female guest makers feel at home. This is your father's house. And I pray by the end of this program, we will all come back and testify to the power of God. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you. You see that? That was well said. Thank you, sir. Um, he's acknowledged everybody seated, standing, and um, he has also welcomed you. He has given us the liberty to be free. You are in your father's house. You can dance to the left, dance to the right, dance to the front, and dance to the back. If there's anybody disturbing you, just move away. It is your time of the year to celebrate all that you have been through and to give God glory for seeing you through to this time. A lot of people, I bet, would want to see this day, but they are not around. Some are in um, hospital, some are just bedridden, some cannot even see, some are blind, some are afflicted one way or the other, but you and I, it has pleased God to make us to be in good health, in perfect health. Whatever challenges that we have, it has not superseded our mental state, it has not superseded our mind, and we're able to come before the Lord, we're able to come out because we are strong, he has given us the strength to be here, you are not brooding at home, you are not depressed at home, you could pull yourself together, you could put on your nice clothing, you could put on nice perfumes, you are wearing your glasses, you've brought your children down here before the holies of holies, just to do one thing, can you tell me what you are here for tonight? What are you here for tonight? What are you here for tonight? I am here to praise the Lord. Please let all distractions go. Dance like David dance. Hallelujah. So quickly now, um, I'm going to call my lovely children. They're awesome kids. They've got a poem for us. And um, I think I'll call, who do you want me to call? I've got a female and a male. One has to come first. Yes. Ladies first. Ladies first. Thank you, our mommies. They, so, they, they pass. Clap for them. Clap for our mommies. Ladies first. So, oh, look at her. She's out here already. She's out here already. She's so spontaneous. Hallelujah. God bless our children. They will not be found wanting in the premises of God. They will never lose their path. We've placed their path on the way of the Lord. We've placed their path onto the light and they will never fall into darkness. They will never fail. They will never fall and they will never falter before Jehovah. Thank you for listening to her. Go ahead. voices in praise of our Father. Shout with the voice of triumph. Shout with the voice of praise. Shout unto God for the victory. Hey, hey, give the Lord a shout of praise. Triumphant in battle, we are victorious. God is most high over all the earth. Jesus has conquered, Satan's defeated. The enemy is under our feet. So let us shout for the victory. Shout if you have been set free. Shout if you have been saved. Shout if you belong to God. Hallelujah. Hold on. Um, if you were listening along with her, she said something. She said, shout if you have experienced victory. Nobody shouted. I did. So she's going to read that place again. Then you respond. voices in praise of our Father. Shout with the voice of triumph. Shout with the voice of praise. Shout unto God for victory.
see? How many of us can write a poem? So we should give them accolades when they do this. That was wonderful. We should shout because when those challenges come, <laughs> I bet none of us is shouting at the time. But when we conquer it, there should be shouts. Shouts of victory. Hallelujah. For every new dawn, you should shout for joy. Because when you sleep, you don't even know where you are. So when you wake up in the morning, I would expect you to shout. After thank you, Jesus, you should shout, Hallelujah! And then your neighbor is like, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Hallelujah. So quickly moving on, I'm going to call on my boy, Ayo. Where are you? A-Y-O. A-Y-O. He's got a poem for us. Please um, listen and uh, follow suit. Thank you. and I'll be reading the, the, the poem, Voice of Triumph. Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God in the voice of triumph. Shout out to God in celebration. Shout to God with cries of joy. Shout to God with joyful praise. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. Shout to God with a voice of singing. The trumpeters and musicians joined in to give praise to our mighty King. The singers raised their voice and praised the Lord of hosts. Come, let's sing songs of thanksgiving to him who dwells in heaven. With a sound of rejoicing, he, for he has kept us, bless us, protect us, and he's be ever been merciful to us. His mercies are renewed daily. He's our safe place. We are victorious. Hallelujah. We have triumphed. sound we have triumphed. I am more than a conqueror. Olasun boy is more than a conqueror. I thought you would say my name now. Uh -uh, you guys. Olasun boy is more than a conqueror. We are all conquerors before the Lord. By his strength, our enemies will never laugh at us. There's a part in the Bible if we have a scholars here. Can somebody open to Psalm 30, verse 1? There's a part talking about triumph. As much as we want to sing, the word cannot come out and be ignored. Psalm 30, verse 1. Anybody there, please, quickly. Do we have scholars amongst us? Psalm 30, verse 1. Okay, since there isn't any, it goes and says, I praise you. I praise you, Lord. Because you have saved me. You have kept me from my enemies and from them gloating over me. Do you know what it means that your enemy gloats over you? She passed her phone. It's only her every time. Fine. He has not allowed the enemy to do that to you. Have you even thought about that? Is she the only one every time she's shining? God has not allowed the thoughts the imaginations, the bad wishes of them to come to pass upon your life and that of your family. That's enough. If I were you, I would be on my feet right now. I would be shouting hallelujah for those that know that the Lord has done it for them. He has not allowed the enemy to grow over them. Shout hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Please be seated. I think I have a lovely audience this evening. So, um, I cannot continue without recognizing people around here. And uh, again, I will recognize my shepherd, Oyimbo Jesu. Agutasholo. Agutasholo and see me come by. The voice and the mouth speaker of Jehovah himself. The deputy HOP, 
of Prophetic Ministry United Kingdom and Dublin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought you would be clapping as I'm reading this after. As I'm reciting and doing recitation, you are supposed to be clapping. Uh -uh. The one that has the mantle for gospel of light to be carried on and for years and years and it's still shining, it's still glowing and that is Venerable Superior Evangelist Prophet Dr. Oluleke Fagemi. To do this, okay, good. Just as you were saying, he said, behind every successful man, right, there's always a woman. You see, in our church, gospel of light, there's one very pretty woman. She's she's very welcoming, she's very friendly, and very accommodating. With a clap offering, can you please help me welcome? Our dear mother and the Lord, Mother Celestia, thank you. Put your hands together as we welcome her. Put your hands together. I want me to watch it. It's not easy to be fine, though. It's not easy to be pretty, though. It's not easy to be yaya, though. It's not easy to be the wife of the prophet, though. Please clap for her. Your are celebrated, man. to borrow from Yaya's words when it was her husband's uh, birthday our shepherd she said he would not profess her onto the chairs if the chairs were empty you all made it to be you da -da 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 -da. and I was like so humble she's so humble and that's brought me to appreciate all the church workers for supporting him he can't do it alone when his hands are tired you hold on to the elbow and say, keep going, shepherd, we are with you. When he's weary and he has cold, you call him, shepherd, how are you feeling? When he's weak, he says, shepherd, don't worry, sit down, take it up. And we cannot overlook all the church workers. There are some people, they are the war geckos in the church. I tell you, I am not. But I know some of us that are the war geckos of church. When I say war geckos, they are always in church. Whether it is pouring, it is sunny, it is hailstony, they are in the church. And God is writing it for them. And for those of us that are also slacking, <laughs> God is also writing it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I appreciate all the church workers at this time. And how will we come to church and not dance, my brother? Of course. We have to dance. That's people, those people on that side. Those people on that side with the melody, that's the choirs. We want to thank the choristers. Thank you for your melodious tunes. Thank you for using your voices unto the Lord. The Steve of the Christian Ashes. Give us a tambourine. Let them know we are hailing the Christian. Choristers, show us now. Let the piano just sound. You can't be in the executive if you don't have the members. Why are you executive? So we are appreciating the church member, the entire church members. From the very head to the very last infant, we want to show appreciation. We want to say thank you for being who you are. We want to say thank you for supporting us. We want to say thank you for tolerating ourselves. We want to say thank you for forgiving ourselves. We step on each other's toes, don't we? But in love, we overcome it. Isn't it? I want to say thank you. On behalf of my shepherd, we say thank you to every church member of Gospel of Light Parish. A round of applause for yourselves. A round of applause for yourself. My boy is at the back. I can't see you clapping. Clap for yourself, my twins. I can't, I can't see you clap. I can't see you clap. God, God is not clapping. He's not clapping for himself. I won't clap for myself if I had two hands at this time. Hallelujah. I hope I didn't leave anybody.
somebody out. All right. So now, I am also thanking our daddy for coming in this weather. I don't know what the temperature is reading right now. But six, that's cold. It says six and feels like four. Six feels like three. You know? And he came. And he's here on time to be with us. And that is Assistant Variable Senior Evangelist, Toby King and his wife. A round of applause for Gadi. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so very much for coming. We pray that we will celebrate more of this together in good health. We will not be found wanting in our midst and in the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Ah, oh, my sweet sister. The sutana you gave is still there. I have no soul it. I'm still looking at it and then I'll put it back. Ah, no, I want that to add more on your show. She's always there. She stands by her friend, her dear friend. She's one of those loyal ones. Um, thank you for always being here. Sometimes you wonder if she has her own parish because she's always here. She's a shepherd's wife and so as well. Mother Celestia, I date you to Holloway. A round of applause for her. A round of applause for her. Let them see that you are pretty. It's not easy to be a shepherd's wife. Hallelujah. There was somebody that was hiding when the husband got up. And that is Assistant Very Senior Evangelist Toby, Toby King's wife. Can you please make yourself known to us, please? A round of applause. A round of applause. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you for taking care of daddy. Thank you. God bless you all. Um, yeah, so now we have another presentation. Um, there's always something we always do before the service starts. Who can guess? No? No? Before the service starts, as a celestial church, there's something we do. No? 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 Sunday school! That's what we do. Sunday school. We do Sunday school 9 to 10. Before Jerry Moyama. So now we are having them to present us right now. So I passed. So can you somebody give me gifts? Ah, just blow around the I thought I would get a gift too. Sunday school, nobody answered on this school. It's only me. And they are clapping. I want a gift though. Thank you for the clap, but I want a gift. So the Sunday school section, they have a presentation for us. Are they ready at all? Sunday school presentation. While they are getting ready, while they are getting ready, I just want to crack this joke. There was this guy. He likes to call people onto the van. You know Nigerian buses. You know Nigerian bus. Oh, shoddy, oh, shoddy, oh, shoddy, oh, shoddy. Oh, shoddy, oh, shoddy. One more chance, one more chance. Hey, wale, 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 change it out. The guy used to call people onto the vehicle. And then, what do you know that usually they usually do? And then I looked at them and I said, who is missing out? He's the one missing out of the journey. And then I likened it to the Christian journey. You and I, we evangelize. Either with our behavior, either with what we say, either with the Bible, the texts, either one to one. We call people into the fold, don't we? Don't let us be like the bus conductor. On the last day, let us be in that bandwagon. All right? It's just um, a thought. I thought I should drop with you to take home. And it's Shilaso. Lord John Kane, our back Christy Joba. Our wash Ogo, our daddy Ogo. In the mighty name of Jesus. All that we do will be recorded for good for us in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us walk, but don't forget yourself as you walk. That is the thought I have for you. Is the Sunday school ready? Yeah, they are ready. A round of applause for them. A round of applause. A round of applause. As they come in, look at 
about them looking old, nicely dressed, cultures, children. Oh, wow. Okay, you have a mic too, darling.
and nothing, no challenges, no turmoil, no storm will pull them out of his vineyard onto the path of Christ in the name of Jesus. I'm a proud mom and I'm proud to be their mom. If you have, clap yourself. Ah, yes, yeah, so it's, she's claiming it. Too. That's good. Well done, well done, well done. You're doing well. You're doing well. Your children are doing well. Now I think it's time to dance. What do you think? Let's let's get to the real thing, isn't it? Okay. Um, there's an artist that I shared. Fantastic, a round of applause for her. One lady, don't go. There's somebody that has here for drum. So now we have to let the whole choir start first. We've got a lot of wonderful ministers, song ministers in our midst, male and female. But before then, only gonna do shit. Let them host us. Let them make us sweat. Let us exercise. Shake those rusty bones and shake those bum bum and praise the Lord because you are triumphant. Because you are triumphant. Ah, our mom I just don't dare now. Because you are triumphant. Uh -huh. Let's hear the daddies. Maybe the bass will come. So we're gonna dance because we are bass. Is there bass coming or is it treble? It's treble. Ah, men singing treble. For we are dancing because we are. Is, are you hearing it small, small now? Ah. I mean, the men are not here. They are not there. It's baritone. Let us hear the baritone. We are dancing because we are. There you go. There you go. There you go. So now we are handing the mic and the podium.